Welcome to Stave Draws. I'm Stave, an illustrator and animator. And in this video, I'm going to do a review about JC Liondecker. JC Liondecker was a great American illustrator and he made magazine covers. And I bought this book a while ago and it's a great book and it's still available on Amazon. And I'll leave a link in the description box down below. But in this book, uh, you learn everything about him, about his life, and especially about his work. So I'm just going to go through this book, and I'm just going to explain what J.C. Leyendecker was all about. This book about J.C. Leyendecker is written by Lawrence S. Cutler and Judy Kaufman Cutler, and the National Museum of American Illustration. The book is 256 pages and published by Abrams. Leyendecker was the first illustrator that invented branding in advertisements. He was very well known for um, doing the Man for Arrow shirts. And Arrow shirts was a, a big brand in those days. And he did all the images. He also made illustrations for Kellogg's cornflakes and ivory soap. Joseph Christian Leyendecker was born in Germany on March in 1874. In 1882, the family immigrated to Chicago. Leyendecker studied at the Chicago Art Institute and also studied art in Paris together with his brother. Frank Leyendecker. In 1899, he got his first commission for the Saturday Evening Post. It was the beginning of a long collaboration with the most popular magazine in the country. In 44 years, he produced 322 covers for the magazine. It was the golden age of American illustration. Almost all of the covers were painted, and all of the articles and ads inside the magazines as well. There were many great illustrations, like N.C. Wyatt, and of course, Norman Rockwell. Norman Rockwell is more known than Leyendecker, but Rockwell was a big fan of his work. Leyendecker painted everything from real life and did not use photo reference. Rockwell used a lot of photos to make his paintings. The story goes that when Leyendecker visited the studio of Rockwell and he saw all the photo material, he took a look at it and after he left, they never spoke again. Leyendecker used models. One of the models that appeared on a lot of covers and in the ads for the Arrow Color Man was Charles Beach a very handsome man that became the first American cultural hero. Charles Beach became Leyendecker's partner, and they lived together for over 40 years. This book is a great mix between a biography and a showcase of all the incredible art he produced. As an artist, it is great to see the studies of his paintings. It gives some insight how his paintings were created, he did a lot of studies of materials and poses. The studies almost look like finished paintings, but they're sort of practiced for the final piece. The studies he painted on smaller pieces of canvas, and when you look closely, you see that he drew grit on top of it. That helped him to transfer it on a bigger scale for the final painting. The images look very realistic, but they are actually heavily designed. For the Saturday Evening Post, he created his most memorable covers that returned every year. Like the New Year's Baby and the covers he did for Thanksgiving. He also made a lot of covers for Colliers, a magazine that produced fiction. Many famous writers contributed to the magazine, like Jack London. But the Sunday Evening Post was his main income. 
In the Roaring Twenties, Leyendecker gave a lot of parties. The parties they hosted at their new Rochelle home studio were important social and celebrity making events. The story goes is that F. Scott Fitzgerald, the author of The Great Gatsby, modeled his main character after Leyendecker. In the 20s, Leyendecker did most of his work. He was highly appraised and everyone wanted his work. But in the 30s, the interest declined. Leyendecker was a very shy man and his partner took care of his business. In his later days, he would only talk to his sister and did not want to see anyone else. As the demand of his work declined, they had to let go of their exuberant lifestyle. They had to fire all the servants that worked at the house. When he died in 1951, the house had to be sold and his paintings were sold in a thrift sale. This book captures the elusive style of J.C. Leindecker and gives you a great insight in his work methods and also his personal life. For every designer, illustrator or painter, this book is a must-have. I can spend hours just watching and studying his art in utter admiration. It's quite intimidating to see the pure craftsmanship, but also a true inspiration. The book is still available on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description box down below. I also made a poster of Valentine's Day of Cupid 2.0 and that was inspired by J.C. Leyendecker and the print is now available as a poster and a lot of other products so if you want to check that out it's available on Redbubble and I'll leave a link in the description box down below or you can press on the I and then you go straight to the Redbubble page so if you like the image and if you want to support me uh, you can buy the poster or you can buy it on uh, other products as well like uh, iPhone skins and and other stuff. I hope you like this video and if you like it please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel in that way you won't miss a single video. Drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles!